Layer effects are non-destructive effects that you can apply to curves, shapes, text and images. Let's begin by selecting the text and opening the Quick Effects panel. It will usually be to the right of the workspace, but if it isn't, you can enable it on the window menu. There are a variety of different effects that we can toggle on and off using the tick boxes. I might want to change the colour of this title. I can do this by applying a colour overlay. If I check the box, a few options become available. Here I can change the colour of the overlay and the opacity. The original colour of the text is still present below. We can see this if I reduce the opacity to 0%. Layer effects are non-destructive, so colour overlays are useful if you don't want to permanently change the colour of the object. We could also try a gradient overlay. You'll notice if I check the gradient overlay box, nothing appears to have happened. This is because layer effects act in the same way as layers on the layers panel, with the one on top hiding the one below. Because the opaque colour overlay is above and the gradient overlay is below, it is hidden. If I uncheck the colour overlay, we will see the gradient overlay that has been applied. As you can see, there isn't an option to change the gradient colours here, so we need to open the Layer Effects dialog to view the full range of options. We can do this by pressing the cog icon. Now we have lots of options to customise our gradient overlay effect. First of all, we can alter the colours by clicking on the gradient preview window. I can select individual colours to change them. Or select the bar and click Insert to add new colours. I can also choose to delete colours or reverse the direction of the gradient. I can also change other options too, like the blend mode, the type of gradient or the angle of the blend. When we look back on our layers panel, we can now see an FX icon on the layer. This tells us that there is a layer effect applied to this text and I can click it to open the layer effects dialog. Let's move to another example. This time, I want to create a 3D appearance to this notebook. I could go into the Quick Effects panel and click the cog, but I already know that I want the full options this time. So I can select the text and go straight to the Layer Effects dialog at the bottom of the Layers panel. First, I'm going to create a colour overlay that's slightly darker than the rest of the cover. Now, I'll enable a bevel and emboss layer effect. It's a good idea to play around with different options to see how they change your effect. This gives the effect I'm looking for. The word looks pressed into the notebook's cover. As well as combining layer effects, you can also create multiple layer effects of the same type. I'll show you in this next example. Layer effects with the plus icon next to them can be stacked. I'm going to create an outline using the colour swatches and give the outline a radius value of 20. Next, I'll press the plus icon to create another effect. Again, I'll use my colour swatches, but this time I'll make the radius value 40. This means this outline is twice as wide as the previous one so it can be seen outside of the first outline. I'm going to continue this process for the other swatches in my colour palette and I'll increase the radius by 20 each time. I'll speed this up as you get the idea. If I'm not happy with the layer or I've created one more than I need, I can delete it by pressing the X next to the plus sign. Finally, I want to show you how you can combine multiple layer effects to elevate your work. Here is an advert for a footwear company. I'm going to apply a combination of layer effects to the brand name. I'll start by adding a gradient overlay. One of my favourite ways to tie a piece together is to colour pick samples from the imagery to keep my colour palette consistent. I'll sample this rust colour from the background image and also this denim blue. I'll change the angle of the gradient to vertical. Now to add contrast from the background, I'll add a white outline. 
Finally, I'll enable the 3D effect to really make this stand out. And I'll adjust the direction of light to match the photo in the background. Now it would take a little time to replicate these settings on the second word. So a helpful tip to remember is that you can copy and paste the applied layer effects to other objects. To do this, I'll use the regular keyboard shortcut Command and C on a Mac or Control and C on Windows to copy. Then I can select the object where I want to paste my layer effects and go to the edit menu and select paste effects. And here we can see it has pasted the same collection of effects onto the second word. So that was a look at how to apply a layer effect and how using them in combination could elevate your design work. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.